so good afternoon everyone today we will learn about ttl and cmos output configuration so what is output configuration we already calculating output for ttl or cmos then why we adding extra output configuration because to provide speed to provide high speed or low impedance because output resistance or impedance must be low okay so that the circuit will work so perfectly and for high speed so these two to gain these two properties we design a extra circuit for ttl or cmos ttl or cmos circuits okay let us see the ttl nand circuit for that nand circuit we will learn different types of ttl forms okay so ttl output configurations are three types first one is two tempore output open collector output tri state output okay. these three configurations we learn for nand ttl circuit okay for nand ttl circuit we will learn these three types so what is totem core circuit totem core circuit is pull up network totem core output is pull up network which consists of two transistors and one diode two transistors and one diode so this is the ttl nand okay this is the ttl nand for this ttl nand we creating an extra circuit that is totem core circuit totem core circuit so totem core circuit means a diode is placed between two transistors okay a diode is placed in between two transistors so this complete part acts as pull up network Okay, this complete part will act as pull up network. So, what is the advantage of this net, this circuit? By adding this circuit, we can increase speed. How we increase speed? See, the Q3 is connected to collector of Q2. Q4 is connected to emitter of Q2. let us observe here generally we taking output here right we taking output here now we connecting these two here and connecting taking output here whenever q3 is on we get output like this okay whenever q3 is off and q2 is on see output like get like this okay output get like this so with respect to these two transistors output getting very fast because through ground also we getting some power supply right so we getting extra output output very fast okay what is this configuration what is the use of this diode so this diode protects eh? simultaneous on means if q3 is on then q4 must be off if this one is off this means is automatically on okay it will provide it using this diode okay and one more using this collector if current is emitter current is zero when emitter current is zero then what happens q4 is off because there is no current flow in it so it becomes off whenever it becomes off it becomes on so whenever q3 is on diode is powered by us so output vcc comes like this okay vcc comes like this so that is output 
for this configuration adding a diode in between two transistors is known as totem pole configuration this entire part is nan circuit only okay entire part is nan circuit only for speed for speed purpose we adding d3 okay remaining is same next one is ttl open collector configuration so this is the ttl open collector configuration so observe here we taking output at collector output at collector and collector for collector we not connecting any power supply we not giving any power supply and also compare totem pole and open collector observe here we have one transistor and diode is removed if those transistor and diode is removed the totem pole configuration is converted to open collector configuration okay what is the advantage of this open collector means we get low impedance we get low impedance but speed is very slow speed is very slow the advantage is low impedance but speed is very low mostly we use for high speed totem pole configuration for low impedance we use open collector configuration okay so see the output taken at q4 in totem pole configuration by omitting q3 and diode q3 and diode this configuration is referred as open collector because we not connecting any power supply next tri state tri state while learning in uh, uh, multiplexer or demultiplexer we have one extra input what is that one enable right whenever enable is zero the circuit doesn't give any output right the circuit doesn't give any output when enable is equal to one circuit works normally right circuit works normally so when enable is zero we don't know any output so that output is referred as third output so that is tri state generally we have two output logic 0 logic 1 this is first output this is second type of output and any we don't know any output right that output is called high impedance high impedance that is h i dash z we call it as high impedance that is the third output means whenever enable is zero the circuit goes to high impedance state okay at high impedance state we doesn't get any output okay we doesn't get any output so to design tri state we required enable right we required extra input including ab suppose i am designing nand gate two input nand gate so a and b are two inputs and one extra enable so this is the circuit of tri state configuration c first to draw the totem pole configuration first to draw the totem pole configuration okay after totem pole configuration for last input okay for last input take a diode okay take a diode that diode connection is given to base of q3 base of q3 okay base of q3 so let us see the working of this whenever enable is zero so diode is in cathode reverse direction so whenever enable is zero it is activated okay it is activated 
means it is forward bias so diode will be closed means it is short circuited so there is a path here there is a path here so vcc will comes like this to ground vcc comes like this to ground right so vcc comes to ground so all comes to ground so q1 is off q2 is off whenever q2 is off q3 will be q4 what happened it is on it is on and q3 also off all are off only this one is on okay only this one is on then what is the output we get is high impedance output we get is high impedance okay we get high impedance so whenever enable is on whenever enable is on this is reverse bias if this is short circuit means we removing short circuit means there is no path here so we simply remove this line if you remove this line it acts as normal nand circuit acts as normal nand circuit it is two input nand gate now you want three input nand gate draw extra one more line like this okay so we get it is a three input nand gate okay this is the tri state so tri state has three states logic 0 logic 1 and high impedance state okay to design tri state we required enable input whenever enable is zero circuit goes to high impedance state otherwise the circuit will work normally okay same thing apply for mos and cmos so in mos and cmos we have only two configuration open drain why open drain so for npn or pnp we have emitter base collector for fetch for fetch we have source gate drain okay instead of collector we opening drain okay instead of collector we opening drain there is no totem pole configuration in mos or cmos okay there is no totem pole configuration only open drain and tri state we have only two configurations so open drain generally suppose i am taking cmos nand cmos inverter let us see this is the cmos inverter right here we giving read it this one is on so this is the cmos inverter and nmos inverter is and mos and for p mos there is no open drain configuration because p mos is pull up network okay p mos is pull up network so for pull up network we can't create open drain because we not get output at drain okay we taking output at source for pull up network we collect output at source not at drain for pull down network we collect output at drain so we not use pmos so observe here this is pmos right we taking output here then we here also we take output here right so this is the drain part 
so we left the upper part we left the upper part so this is green detail output same thing for n mass also we left the upper part is the advanced transistor we taking or put it n mos drain see n channel n channel we taking n channel and observe here there is a one symbol is available so for open drain or open collector we add this symbol we add this symbol to indicate it is a open configuration is a open drain or open collector If you use MOS transistor, it is open drain. If you use uh, NPN or PNP transistor, it is open collector configuration. Okay. So outputs are taken at drain or fix. So for pull up network, we can't use open drain configuration. Next to dry state. For tri-state, we are using enable. Okay, to design a tri-state circuit and minimizing the circuit. So this is the final circuit. This is a NAND, CMOS NAND. Okay, this is CMOS MOS. Instead of the circuit becomes bulk. For that purpose, I am using. Symbols here directly CMOS NAND and CMOS NAND, and this pass circuit is buffer, not AND gate or NAND gate. This circuit is buffer. Buffer means whatever input you give in, you get output that one only. So we have only single input and one enable. Okay, single input and one enable. If you want multiple input. Just give one more input here and here, so then it acts as AND gate. If you want OR gate, replace this one here, this one here. You get OR gate. Okay. Let us see the working of this one. Whenever enable is zero. Okay. Whenever enable is zero. What happens here? We get zero. Here we get complement one. Okay. I am taking input zero now. Here, I mean here we get zero. Here we get zero. Zero zero. NAND gate output is one. Right? Zero zero NAND gate output is one. This is PMOS. Right? For PMOS, if you give high input, it is off. It is off. And now come to here. Zero one. Zero one NOR gate means output is zero. Whenever this is zero, Q one also off. This one is off and this one is off. What is output? Output is high impedance. Okay. Output is high impedance. And same thing. Whenever enable is zero, I am giving input as one. Input one. <coughs> and observe here. This is zero. This is one. One one. One one means for nine gate output is not sorry not output is zero. Zero one is output one. Again this is a This is R. So output is high impedance. Output is high impedance. Now let us see. Well, N A means what? A is equal to C. This is one. This is C. Right? And 
this is zero. This is zero. Zero zero means one. Zero zero means one. One zero means one. So this is odd. This is one. So output is zero. So I am giving input is zero. Output is also zero. Okay. Now enable is one. A is zero. Sorry, A also one now. So one 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 means it is zero. So it is on. Next this one is one. This one is zero. So output is one. This sorry output is zero. This will off. So what is output? VDD comes to output. So output is VDD. That is one. So whenever input is one, output is one. Right? Output is one. So that is the most time state for buffer. This is buffer. If they ask NAND or AND, if they ask AND, put one more input here. Take one more. Connection here also. We give power supply to source also. But suppose if there is no source source supply, then we can take as both are on. But we give some power supply here. So when A is equal to zero, when A is equal to zero, let us see the con. When A is equal to zero, what happens? P MOS will be off. N MOS will be on. Then the output, the current will goes from A to N MOS to B. A to N MOS gate to B. Okay. This is the current flow direction. 
mean information is transmitting from A to B. So for the A, I am giving zero. So B also we get zero. There is a path is common transmission path. Okay. So same when enable is one. Enable is one. Here enable is zero. So A is equal to one. When A is equal to one. N MOS will be off, P MOS will be on. Okay. Then current flows from A to P MOS to B. A to P MOS to B. Okay. Again we get path. Okay. So whenever enable is high, we transmitting A to B information. A to B information. When A is one. It goes from P MOS direction. When A is equal to zero, it goes to N MOS direction. But information is transmitting from A to B, right? So that is called transmission path using C MOS. Okay. So when enable is zero, when enable is zero, what happens? When enable is zero, this is off. This one becomes one, so this is also off. So both are off. So whenever this is off, this is off. Whatever B, because through base it is not activated. Through gate it is not activated. So whenever we apply source supply, it won't accepts. Okay. It will not accepted. Whenever gate supply is on, then with respect to source, it will on or off. But whenever there is no gate supply, this is gate. Whenever there is no gate supply, whatever source, it will be in off condition only. Okay, it is in off condition. So whenever both are off. What happened? There is no transmission part. There is no transmission part. So this is the working of CMOS transmission gate. Next one is IC interface. So what is IC interface? For designing a circuit, we use Two different logic families means we using two ICs or three ICs with different logic families. First, single output we taking different logic families. We combining different logic families. So that is called IC interface. For suppose I am designing one linear function f is equal to x y plus z. So this is one Boolean function and the gate, right? And this one is R gate. Mean you require one end gate IC, one R gate IC. For suppose I have end gate IC is seven four HCD zero eight. For R gate I have seven four ALS three two. Okay. ALS I said already it is TTL band. HCT means it is CMOS family, right? So I am combining these two gate. See, this is XY. The output of XY is given to R gate, right? This is final expression XY plus Z. So this one is CMOS support for support. This one is CMOS for support. This is TTL, right? To get the perfect outputs, to get the perfect outputs, we have to consider and we have to compare these two voltage levels and current level. We have four voltage level, four voltage parameters: VOH, VOL, VIH, VIL. Right? Four parameters and also current parameter: IOH. I O L I 
consider these things. We can interpret any IC. But in practical, we use voltage regulators as input supply. Okay. For this purpose, we have to satisfy these conditions. Okay. We have to satisfy these conditions for better outputs. So we already learned some types of logic families. So out of those, 74 ACT. 74 ACT is compatible with 74 ALS. Means TTL we are using here. That is 74 ALS ICs only. These IC can accept only. 74 ACT inputs. Okay. 74 ACT output is connected to 74 ALS inputs. Okay. Only possible one is this one only. We have so many CMOT logic numbers. What are the H, HCT, HC, AC, ACT? Right. We have so many logic numbers. For TTL only. TTL, we have standard TTL and copy TTL. Instead, we have four types. Here also, we have four types. Out of all these, only this is the possible IC compatible. Okay. Possible IC compatible. You can check this condition. I already given voltage levels. So, let us verify yourself for different logic families. Similarly, for TTL driving CMOS, just to repeat CMOS with TTL. CMOS with TTL, TTL with CMOS. Remaining condition is same. Suppose if you want CMOS ECL, this level is CMOS. This one is ECL. This part is ECL. So if you want TTL versus ECL, this becomes TTO. This all becomes TTO. Okay. Let us see. TTO driving. Okay, these are the condition. And compared to the seven four H C T and seven four A C T. Whatever TTO. Can take any logic family, but for CMOS, the one to get better output, use these two ICs HCT and ACT. But output of TTL, any TTL logic family can accept. Any TTL logic family can accept by CMOS. Okay, any TTL. Logic. Whatever TTL logic family is here, these two can accept any logic family. Okay. This is the TTL driving series. Okay. Let us read for yourself the voltage levels. Okay, tomorrow we will learn about designing Boolean expressions using series.